What's going on? On this episode of Something New in the Teak Life Basement Bar, Traverse City Whiskey Company. We've got five bottles. We're going to try three. Which three? Well, you're going to have to watch the episode to find out. It's going to be fun. <laughs> What's up everybody? I'm Don Ferguson and welcome back to another episode of Something New here in the Teak Life Basement Bar where we try liquors from around the world. So if this is your thing, be sure to hit that subscribe button right now and turn on the notifications. So what are we trying today? You already see it. Whiskey. Traverse City Whiskey Company. We got, as I like to call them, movie theater size. These are movie theater size. This is what you stick in your cargo pants, pockets, and whatever. But we have five of them today. We're not going to try all five. I am eventually going to drink all five, but we are going to try three. Which three? Hmm. Let's just pick them out at random. Oh, how random was that? Okay. So these two, we have a North Coast Rye. We're going to set this aside. I'm going to enjoy that by myself. And then we have a straight bourbon whiskey. This would be their base. Today, we are doing three. We are doing their American Cherry Edition. Boom. I'm going to save this one for that. We are doing their Port Barrel Finish. Boom. And last but not least, look at this. This is... Oh, you know it's special when it's got this waxy ring type of seal right well this is their barrel proof so three different let me grab some three different glasses here because we don't want to interchange the flavors and we're going to get to tasting all right so let's set the barrel proof aside we're going to put that right there we're going to put the port barrel we're going to actually start off with their american cherry so a little bit about traverse city if you've never been to michigan michigan is my home state Traverse City is up north, and it's kind of like situated in wine country. It's the wine region of Michigan. There are, are a lot of different wineries and vineyards up there. That it's, actually, it's just breathtaking. It's a beautiful area, but it's not really known for its whiskey. But I, maybe Traverse City whiskey is putting whiskey on the map for the Traverse City area. I don't know. I know another thing about Traverse City area, it is very famous for their cherries. So I just thought that it would be, you know, the, the best to start off with their American Cherry Edition. We're going to get right into it. We are going to crack this open and I'm going to, I'm not going to do my healthy pours. At least I hope not. Oh, it smells like a cherry tree. It smells, wow. You, re you really can pick that up. That's amazing. All right. I think that is a really good pour. So, yeah, Traverse City is actually, they hold a cherry festival every year. It's uh, the, the biggest in the country. Well known for their cherries. Now, this one, really nice color, like a golden straw, um, almost like, a, um, like that nice hue of a rich craft beer. Um, whoa. Somebody say cherry? I think so. Cher oh, and some whiskey. So, it's American cherry. We're starting off with this because it's only 70 proof. And from what I've seen, the mash bill for all three of these is the same. Core, um, corn, rye, and malted barley. Um, boy, you're really... Yeah, we're, we're, we're diving into some tasting. You really get a lot of cherry. Um, one of the things that... I really get concerned about with flavored whiskeys or flavored liquors, whatever they may be, is a lot of the time it is a synthetic or it is a artificial flavoring and it kind of steers me off. I'm, I'm going to say something very unpopular. Maybe it'll be popular, but like the crown peach and the crown apple, it, it's just an artificial flavoring that turns me off. Um, so I'm not a fan of those. As a matter of fact, you know, I got maybe like a three quarters or four fifths of a bottle of crown peach. Maybe I'll 
give that away or something. Let, let's just let's do something fun and have a giveaway. But this, you're getting a lot of cherry on the nose and just a, a slight bit of very, very slight bit of whiskey. Let's go in. We're going to coat the palate. Yeah. It is not over... Wow. It is a lot of cherry. I'm not going to lie. Definitely a lot of cherry. But it's so unique. I, 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 it, it's a real cherry. So... One of the things that I've read and, and done my research about Traverse City whiskey, it, it, like they actually use Montgomery cherries that are grown on their family's farm. So they're using the real deal. And to be a whiskey company in Traverse City and have um, a cherry whiskey, and a cherry infused whiskey, it, it's got to be the real deal. You can't do that artificial fake bullshit. Um, up there in Traverse City, they'll probably club you to death. Yeah, it's it's a it's a lot of cherry. There's a there's but it's not the tart cherry. Um there's different grades of cherry, obviously. And this one is sweet. I don't think it's overly sweet. It does have like a um like a cherry twizzler type of taste. Um I get very little spice on the back end. It's really um maybe a little bit of brown sugar, um some corn. Uh, maybe a little bit of caramel but really it's just um, it's a lot of cherry and, and this would be something I think for somebody that that likes something a little bit sweeter and maybe ne doesn't necessarily like a harsh or a, um, a whiskey or a bourbon maybe this would be a good gateway for you to kind of ease on into that I'm sure this would make some fantastic cocktails as well um, I like it I would like to chill it and see what it brings out as well i'm sure there'd be more uh more flavors it might be even more robust of a cherry but i dig it i probably couldn't drink a lot of it um it's more of like um you know maybe a dessert wine uh along those the that category but for me it's something that i could definitely sip and uh enjoy during the traverse city cherry festival Moving right along on our Whiskey Express train, we are going to the port. Now, if you have ever tried port wine, it is really sweet. Um, I am not the biggest fan of a port wine. If you haven't had a port wine, um, it, it's sweet. It has some fruity tones. Like, um, it, It's typically a, a, a dessert wine, um, a dessert teeth. Uh, it, it's something that you, you typically sip during dessert or after your meal, something like that. It's got fruity tones to it. Depending on what it is, it could be, you know, raisin-esque. It could be cherry. It could be uh, raspberry. There, there's a plethora of different flavors, but it is definitely sweet. This one, though, the port barrel finish, this is really unique. And I don't know of many whiskeys doing it. It's 86 proof. Um, it is aged three years. And then what they do, and I've, I've, I've read some contradictory things doing this research is, it's at least three months, but typically it's four months in a port um, cask. Uh, I, I've even read up to a year in a port cask, so I don't know, that seems a little extreme. I'm gonna go with the four months and see. On the nose, um, I'm not getting a lot of that port. Uh, the color, it's a nice, deep, kind of like, um, I would say like a brass um, kind of color. Like, re really nice. Re re really nice. The legs dripping pretty slow. Yeah, I'm getting corn and grain. A little bit of cinnamon. A little bit of uh, vanilla as well. Yes, I did cleanse my palate in between tastings. I'm a professional. I know what I'm doing. Hmm. So it's a it, it's a very nice smooth whiskey, except especially for 86 proof. I'm really surprised because I don't have a lingering kick 
or a spice on the finish. Um, it's definitely a gentle, easy entry. Um, it has some of that corn grain properties of, of most whiskeys. What I'm not picking up is the port. So to be aged three to four months, uh, we're going to go with four, like I said, in port cast. I, I would expect a little bit more of a property from the port, but I'm, I'm not getting a lot. There's a little fruitiness. There's a little sweetness to it. It could be the corn, you know, in, in actuality. But if you've ever tried a port wine and compare this, very different. A port wine, woo, you need to see the dentist the next day. You drink a couple bottles of that a week, your shit's rotten. I like this. For 86 proof, I, I really do. I think it is very smooth. It is very gentle. Um, it's got some good tones. It, it, it doesn't have a robust body to it, to where I'm getting a lot of different flavors. But it is just um, an easy, smooth sipper. I'm feeling a little bit of the cinnamon. I'm catching some of the, the vanilla as well. But I do like this. I really do. Um... Like I said, I'm not getting a lot of the port, but I think it is I think it's really good. Really like this. So the last stop of the tasting express. Wow, it's just wax is going all over. I'm really excited. Um, look at that. It just wants to stick around. No pun intended. But this one is their barrel proof. This is a limited edition. Uh, I'm pulling out the old rip. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that nice... Oh, shit. I probably... That's a little bit of a healthy pour, and here's why. As this is a limited edition, it is also 116 proof. Yes. So, we went easy, and then mid-range with the 86 proof and the pork, and now we are doing their barrel proof, which is 116, and boy... You're getting it. Like, it is a nice, deep, oh, look at that. Cop like, if you could see it shining in that light, it is a beautiful copper. I like it. I really like it. Um, deep and rich. But this one is aged four years. I'm getting, I'm getting a lot of, like, ethanol on the nose, actually. It's spicy. Um getting some some clove some allspice um some chard i'm definitely getting some charred oak and then there's just like another property we're gonna put this right here hopefully you guys can see it mm, interesting so 116 proof i'm gonna take a baby sip i'm gonna swirl it around um because i really want to ingest this very slowly delicately So yeah, it, you get um. There's a, there's a kick, there's de but but I've had worse actually. Um, I'm quite I'm quite pleased that it's not peppery, um, or spicy on the back end like I thought it might be, and maybe it's just because I am an intoxicologist. I don't know. That's a made up there. No, it's all made up. But yeah, I'm getting some cinnamon. Um, there's like a citrus tone in there too, almost like a lemon. Um, you know, peel, something like that. It's really interesting. Mm. I like it. Um, I, I truly do. You are getting on the back end the whiskey. It's easy and it comes in. It's almost like a reverse funnel. Um, it does linger. Uh, it does like tingle on the lips, but it is... 116 proof. Uh, it's, it's got a really nice flavor to it. Um, your typical bourbon. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so this is their barrel proof straight bourbon whiskey. Um, it's handwritten on there because there is some sort of a variance. So this is 58.3. Um, very nice presentation. I like the samplers. 
I like this. This is something though, obviously, you have to be careful. Um, it, it's a high proof. So yeah, the heat is kind of lingering. I can imagine, you know, smoking a cigar with this, you know, being in that ambiance. Um, it, it, it is a high proof bourbon whiskey. So I'm just taking some, some small sips. What's interesting, so Traverse City Whiskey Co., Chris Fredrickson, you know, started the company. And what I think is really interesting is he found out that his grandfather, you know, used to be a distiller. And he used to, you know, he had these recipes. And, and I would, I'm interested if the, these are the recipes that his grandfather had back in the 1920s. Because that's when his grandfather was making whiskey. So I think it was around 2015 they opened the distillery. They were producing whiskey um, with another distillery outside of the Michigan area and importing it and bringing it in and selling it. So they've advanced. They've done some really, really cool things. And they have a full, you know, portfolio of different whiskeys, which is the cherry one's very interesting. The port one, I do like this one. You just got to be careful with it because it is a high proof. Okay, so what's my assessment? We tried three. This is the first time in teak life history that we actually tried three different expressions on one one show and Traverse City Whiskey Co I do like what you're doing um, I, I do like this a lot I really enjoyed the port these two oh I like a rye I'm not the biggest fan of a rye we're gonna see and then you have their straight bourbon whiskey so these are great um big fan of what they're doing I like it and um, Teak Life Approved, put it up there. Absolutely Teak Life Approved. This one, as my grandfather would say, will put hair on your chest. I can, I can feel it tingly. I like that. This is like a man's drink. Or I, I do know some women, too, that would enjoy a, a nice bourbon. So that wraps up another episode of Something New here in the Teak Life Basement Bar. Where we tried Traverse City Whiskey Co., and three different expressions, Teak Life approved all day long. Be sure to follow us on social media, Instagram, Facebook. Subscribe to the Teak Life YouTube channel and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss any future episodes. What are we trying next? I don't know. You're just going to have to wait and see. I'm going to do some more pours, meaning I'm going to crack one of these open and just pour it in my mouth. We will see you very soon. Cheers.